What's up, you guys? What's up? What's up? I do have two cornrows going on, you know what I'm saying? And I got a little bit of these antennas out because we're about to do a synthetic wig call. It's only, I, you know, listen, it would have been five, but I really didn't feel like changing my wig five times. So we're going to do three, and this is by the Janet Collection. So it's a, it's a synthetic wig haul, y'all. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we about to look cute. The reason why I got my baby hairs all slicked down and stuff is because, listen, I don't really like to pull out the baby hairs on the wig and try and start pacing down, especially on a cheap synthetic wig. So let's just make it look a little bit better. The wigs that I'm going to be showing you guys today, this one is the extended part lace base deep part wig, 100% premium fiber. Whoo, child. And her name is Zoe. Zoe. And she's in the color number two. She's short. She's cute. And also another extended part. And this one is called Juliana. Juliana. Okay. So she's long and, you know what I'm saying, waved up. She looked real cute and stuff. She got extended parts. Um, that means it just goes back. Extremely deep parts. Okay. The last but not least is another extended part, which is the June. Okay. This one is in the color golden bronze and Juliana is in the color OET 1B30. When I do synthetic wigs, I really don't get too many different colors. I normally stay in like the 30 to 33 range. Some synthetic wig brands, you can't even mess with anything but the natural 1B or color number two, because once they get colored, they start looking really fake and really cheap. But with the Janet Collection and other brands too, some other brands too, you can kind of like mess with the different colors. This one, so June, is really pretty. She's more or less a style that I would definitely rock. Reminds me of this other wig that I did get by Janet Collection, which kind of like, I think she's called Super Moon or something like that. Listen, I love their wigs. So the first one we're gonna do is of course gonna be the short one. We're gonna do the short one because listen, we're gonna get the short out the way. Cool thing about this, this one right here is, listen, you don't have to cut any lace off of this. It already has the lace cut for you. It has a nice curved part. This hair feels like human hair, okay? It's like, you know what it reminds me of? Like a kind of like, I want to say a very, very light yakky. And then also I want to say like a Brazilian. It has like the similarities of both kind of like mixed in one. So it's not too it's not too silky and it's not too like yakky. I'm not really sure how you want to explain that, but it is a nice texture. It looks very natural and it's realistic. Now here's the kicker, girl. Ain't no combs up in here. So honey, if it's a strong wind, I best... I suggest that you put some bobby pins in this. But this is like a regular wig. This is a regular wig. It's the lace base part wig. Uh, so it's, it is still a lace wig, but downfall is there isn't any part, um, you know, there isn't any um, combs. But, you know, you can sew some in. But it's heat resistant, so you can, you know, hot curl it. Now, oh, I'm so mad because the part is on the opposite side. Let's just get into this. This one is Zoe. Now, how I feel about her, why does she remind me of that pixie lace front wig that I did like 
a few days ago or last week or whenever I posted stuff, okay? But she reminds me so much of that human hair pixie lace front wig that I just reviewed for OMG Hair. But the part was on the opposite side. It was long on this side, but they look so similar. Like, um, the hair texture on this is decent. Um, I did use a different hairspray this time, okay? The hair texture on this is, like I said, it kind of reminded me of Yaki, and then it reminded me of Brazilian. So I want to say more or less it reminds me of Brazilian. Let's take the Yaki out of it. Once I started brushing through it, it does look like human hair a lot, which is great for this unit. Um, but just keep in mind, it's still synthetic. So even though you want to, you know what I'm saying, put heat to it and it says it can, you just want to be careful. Now, is this like one of my favorite styles? Not really for this one. I'm not like a huge fan of this, only because I really can't curl it in. I noticed that when I put the hairspray, it kind of like sticks it together. But this is the got to be mesmerizing texturing hairspray. So I use this. Also, I also use this, which is the Volume Maniac, and I also use this one, which is the Glam 4. So I use, like, a lot of their products way before it was on YouTube, okay? Just don't. So I'm not really a big fan of this one, but we're going to get into the next one. The next one I'm going to do is going to be Juliana. She's got like a more wave pattern to her. We're going to try her out. She is a long run. Okay, so with this one, the hair texture is a little bit more silkier. Not so much, I would say, like human hair, but I do think like this one is probably going to tangle, but that's why you guys to bring a brush with you guys. So this is another one where I did not have to cut the lace off, and they do kind of like take the edge of the baby hair and put them on the part. You do also get a lot of parting. It's very lightweight, so it does have a little bit of hair, but I'm pretty sure once you finger comb it, it's going to open up and just, you know, give you more volume. This one does have combs in it, in the front and in the back, along with an adjustable strap. <laughs> Okay, so how I feel about Juliana is, I don't really, I'm not feeling this one. I'm gonna be honest. The style would have been pretty, the hair color is pretty, but listen, this hair, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can see this, but it is tangling as I'm sitting here. This is, I don't really like the way this wig was made at all. Like the quality of this hair is kind of shoddy to me. It's just, it feels cheap. Like the texture on the first short one was a lot better. This one does not feel like any type of love was put into it. Like where is the love? I don't like the fact that the hair is so thin that, you know what I mean, it's just very thick on the edges right here. So even if you wanted to put it in the middle, you have like all of this band that's showing. And so they got skimpy with the wig because the parting is like the stitching of the actual tracks are very far apart. Plus the hair texture is 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 very like shoddy. So this wig is like thin. Plus, if you were to try to fluff it up and make it full, honey, you will be untangling and then tangling at the same time. But I mean, like, if you don't mind, then carry your brush around, girl, because you will be brushing. But I just think with this texture, it's very soft and silky-like, so it's more acceptable to tangling. And I think, like, with different textures, if it was a different texture hair, 
like less scent silky. I promise you, it probably wouldn't as tangle as bad, but we're gonna move on to the next one. So the next one we're gonna move on to is June, and I'm hoping and praying that this one is bomb, okay? Bomb as hell, because this is my birth month, and I love this type of style, so I'm really, really hoping for high hopes in this one. Let's get June going. Okay, so for this one, June, you will have to cut the lace off yourself, okay? So you they have you doing work. I'd rather cut the lace off because then I know it's a lot flatter at the ends. But um, it does have the combs in the front. It's a middle part, so good thing I could put it to the side. Now, the one thing that I noticed about the back where the adjustable straps are at, you know how the hooks are supposed to allow the hooks? You know how the slots right here are supposed to allow the hooks to slot in so that way your wig will fit and be tighter? Well, um, Janet Collection did not allow this um, this particular unit. I'm not sure if it was a factory mishap, but I cannot put my hooks in any of these slots. So in the nape area, there's basically no base. It's just all like this and you don't have a comb and there's no base holding it down. Like, you know, that little stronger piece, you don't have that. So I'm going to just hook the wig. I, I don't really know where I'm going to hook this damn thing. Okay. But maybe I'll just have to cut into the slots. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so June came through for a girl. Out of the three wigs, this is the one that I am going to say definitely girl go out and get. So this is the June one. The cat construction was a little bit different, despite the fact that there was no comb in the back. And I really thought that they kind of did it a little bit cheaper this time on the cap. It still is a nice wig. This one is the best. Um, the color is on point. The color is definitely on point. The texture of the hair. This hair is not getting all tangled like the last one Juliana was doing. The hair texture, the fibers are a little bit better on this one. It's a little bit more natural and Brazilian looking. Plus, I like the fact that we can cut our own lace so it's not all thicker right here, which is not a bad thing, but it's okay. Um, I like hairstyles like this. Like This is how I would wear my own hair, like in layers like this. May not be this color, but I would definitely wear this particular style. And I do have a dark wig, which is a, you know, a 1B that looks just like this one that I did a review for like uh, a couple weeks ago. But this one is more fuller, okay? And it's just like, I just like this one the best out of all of them. Plus, like I said, the color is on point, okay? This one is really nice. And as you guys seen, I just put a little bit of makeup and I just pulled, I had that little tiny piece of hair out for this wig and that was it. Because I'm not about to sit here and fight with the wig especially a synthetic wig for baby hair. It's like, I'm not about to do that. You know what I'm saying? And for those who don't want to do that, we don't have to. We can just like brush our own sides in a particular pattern and girl, you good to go, you know? 
So you guys, let me know which one was your favorite. This was June. The second one, okay, so the first one was Zoe, which was the short one. The second wavy one was Juliana. And then the last but not least is June. You know what they say, save the best for last. So I knew that that particular hairstyle was more me and I'm glad that it worked out in my favor. If you guys want to see some more synthetic wig hauls because I do have other synthetic wigs that I could do hauls on, you know, gather them, you know, all at one time, then let me know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and now it's time for me to go. And I'll see you guys on the next show. Yeah, I'm just beside myself but i love you guys stay deep and deep delicious and i will see you in you know what i'm saying a soon to come video I'm not